How can I view all team members' schedule? Oh, this is great. By default, Google has read-only access to everyone's calendars across the organization. So that makes it pretty easy for you to see everyone's calendars. You may have to switch this on in the admin panel if you've not yet done it. And so it's in calendar settings. It's pretty straightforward, but let me show you where to go to to get that. Okay, let's go and look for calendar sharing. So there's a default sharing setting. Here we go. Internal sharing for primary calendars. Within IT Genius, default is to share all information. So you've got this toggle here where you can choose what people see on each other's calendars by default. Now, they have the option to change this, but you can choose for internal sharing. By default, everyone can see all information and external sharing as well. My recommendation is to lock that down so anyone outside the company can only see whether you're free or whether you're busy. So it means that no one in the company can share their calendar more than this to people outside the company. For us, we've got 60 people in the business. We've become a mid-market sized company. Security has become more important to us now. And that means that we need to have that locked down. Okay, remember that settings like this are all based on organizational units. So if you haven't set up different organizational units, you can apply different settings for different people. Maybe you want executives to be able to share their calendars externally. Sure, that's fine. Put them in an organizational unit, set up the policy just for that org unit. But the policy for the company, you do at the top level and then it trickles down to all the other units from there and less overridden individually. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.